your place? Actually, you had said something earlier. A proposal of sorts. Of sorts? Do you think I might hear it again? Sure. Taylor, will you marry me? I do like the sound of that. There you go, so I said it again. You really want to marry me? That's why I asked you. I know that you are going to think I'm being too analytical here. But, go ahead, say it. Just one question. When was the last time you saw Brooke Logan? Today at work. Did you talk to her? And we talk every day. Did it get personal? Taylor, don't. It's just a question. It's more than a question and you know it. I just, I have to know something, Rich. I have to make sure that you're not doing this for any other reason than the fact that you love me and, and, and you want to be with me. I have to be absolutely certain of that. Now, how would Brooke Logan have anything to do with my asking you to marry me? I don't know. Maybe something happened today. Maybe... She said something, or did something, that made you think that she's a lost cause. I knew that the day my father married her. Now, come on. Let's stop all this nonsense and get down to business here. All those in favor of marriage say yes. All those opposed say nay. Rich, you don't know how long I wanted to hear that. Good. Then we're on. Let me hear it. Ridge Forrester, yes, I will marry you. Ridge Forrester, I most definitely will. Damn it. It's probably uh, Mother. Uh, well, I don't think I need that right now. I'll go into the other room. Come in, Mother. Not your mother. I hope you're not too disappointed. Logan. Well, you don't have to sound so surprised. What are you doing out here? I was visiting your mother, and then Eric stopped by, and they both went to see Ruth Ann. But the person I really wanted to talk to was you. What do you want to talk to me about? I want to apologize, Ridge, for being so insensitive this morning. Hey, forget it. Really, you don't have to say any more. No, you're wrong. Something does have to be said. No, Logan, please. It's all right. Not now. Ridge, I've done this too many times. I flaunt my relationship with Eric in front of you, knowing how much it hurts. And that's exactly what happened this morning when I alluded to your father wanting to have another baby. I guess there's still a part of me that feels a lot of anger and resentment about things. So I strike out. I say things that are hurtful. I know it had to have ruined your day, didn't it? Yeah, it, uh, it sure did that. Come on out, Doc. Taylor, what are you doing here? She thought you were mother, so she went in the other room. I interrupted something. Yes, you no, did. No, you didn't interrupt anything, Brooke. It seems I interrupted some unfinished business between you and Rich. See you later, Rich. Doc, wait a minute. No, hey, I can see what happened here today. Exactly and precisely what happened. 